I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Acts 2.21 And through signs, science and symbols, the Lord has prepared us for the end that is soon about to come. At the end of time, the sun will say, it is done. And the beauty of what has been done is demonstrated throughout the history of this earth from the beginning. For God has shown us who he is through the signs, signs and symbols of this world. And over the years, we have been given instruction on who God is through the Holy Scripture of the Bible and the classical methodology of how we are to learn of God is through the Holy Scripture, what theologians call sola scriptura. So what is sola scriptura? This is the classical biblical view that the proof should lie solely within the scripture. Yet we must remember that the Bible was written by the hands of men and not directly by the hands of God. For if this were so, we would have the gospel according to Jesus and would still have the tablets of God's commandments written by the finger of God at Mount Sinai. And some other religions also have been words that were inspired by God through men. Thus we must remember that the interpretation of the Bible has been subject to the faults of men and other religions have been illuminated by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Yet, we bear witness that the Bible is a divinely inspired work, words that were inspired through men by the Holy Spirit. And the fatal flaw of other religions is that they fail to acknowledge that the Son of God came to man as the Son of Man in order to teach us of who God truly is and ultimately to redeem us back to God. And the Son of God so humbled himself and dwelled on the earth as the Son of Man in order to be a living example of how we should live so that we can learn how to be sons of the living God. And each man has been given this choice to become God's sons through the faith and the works of the Holy Spirit. Yet over the last century, despite what is truly evident from the Holy Scripture, there has been an inclination towards humanism. What is humanism? Humanism is the inclination to explain man's existence and the existence of the universe through the context of science, often in the absence of God's existence. Yet many of the greatest forefathers of humanism and science, such as Galileo, Newton, and Euler, under the pretext of God the Creator, discovered and revealed to mankind the diverse laws of this universe. And as we shall see, what mankind considers the universal laws of science, upon closer examination, do accurately describe and reveal the existence of God through sola physiologia. What is sola physiologia? Sola physiologia is the view that the proof of God lies within nature, within the scientific properties of this universe. But for too long has there been enmity between science and religion, for they are one and the same. Science is faulted for not recognizing that science imitates theology, and theology is faulted for not realizing that the laws of science objectively demonstrate the laws of God. <laughs> And what is science? Science is defined as a systematic enterprise that builds and organizes knowledge in the form of testable explanations and predictions about nature and the universe. The knowledge is obtained through the measurement of signs in nature, and this knowledge is objectively explained and predicted through symbols utilized universally by the scientific community. And God gave us signs to understand his ultimate plan. For as he said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day 
from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Genesis 1, 14. And the signs of his plan abound during these end times. For the Hebrew word for sign is oth, which means a signal, an omen, or a warning of what is to come. But man in his ignorance has failed to recognize these signs. And symbols were used to represent the signs that God has shown us. For the Israelites were given symbols to remind future generations of God's great plan. For as Moses said, this is why I sacrifice to the Lord the first male offspring of every womb and redeem each of my firstborn sons. And it will be like a sign on your hand and a symbol on your forehead that the Lord brought us out of Egypt with this mighty hand. Exodus 13, 15. For the Hebrew word for symbols is totofoth, which means remembrance. In other words, a symbol is used in order to remember what a sign actually represents. And in science, symbols are utilized so that scientists can remember what laws the signs of nature objectively follow. But as we shall soon see, the signs follow the laws that God has set forth in the scripture. And these signs shall abound in the future, for as the Lord promised, do not be terrified by the signs of the heavens, although the nations are terrified by them. Jeremiah 10, 2. For the signs, signs and symbols will be a reassurance that the time for the Lord's return and redemption is near. And this shall be a sign to you from the Lord, that the Lord will do this thing that he has spoken. Isaiah 38. Seven. Stay tuned for more signs, signs and symbols of a prophecy.